If you're playing Hogwarts Legacy on PC and you're looking for some cool mods like this sword that I have on my back, or maybe this dragon that you can ride, or even this broom that has these cool swirly things at the end, then you've come to the right place because I'm going to be showing you how to install two of these mods today. So first we're going to head over to nexusmods.com. Now this is going to be a website that has mods for pretty much any game you can think of. You can see they have Skyrim, they have Fallout, and so much more. So we're going to go up to the top right here and we're going to change this from mods to games and you're going to type in Hogwarts Legacy. Now this is going to pop up, this is the game, so we're going to click on that and this is the official mods page for Hogwarts Legacy. Now you can see all of these mods have their subcategory underneath it, so you can see this is clothing. We have characters, wands, you can even get this Ravenclaw tattooed boy if you want. And if you want to get even crazier, they have a chicken wing broom, so do with that what you will. So for today, I'm going to be showing you how to install this Gryffindor sword and this broom. Now this is the page for the sword. These are the pictures that the mod creator has. They recently just updated this so that they have a darker variant as well. One thing I like about Nexus Mods is it will always tell you right here if a mod is safe to use. Now this is the description page. It's always gonna show you where to install the mod at and any updates that the mod creator has come out with. So we're gonna go into files and you can see they're telling us to only install one of these because one is the original variant and the other is the darker one. So we're going to go ahead and download the original one today. You're just going to click slow download. It takes about five seconds. And if you're using Chrome, the download is going to appear at the bottom here. So now that we have this opened up, we are going to extract it. I'm just going to extract it onto my desktop and I use Breezip, which is free. You can get it on the Microsoft store. Now this is our folder that has all the files in it. And to find the folder that you're going to be putting your mods in, we're going to go into steam and go to properties local files and you're going to click browse now you're going to go ahead and go into this phoenix folder now go into content packs and this is where all of your mods are going to be placed so we're going to bring that folder back up that has the sword files in it and i'm going to open that and drop and drag these files into my mods folder now, I already have the sword in the game, so I'm just going to replace those files. Now we're going to go ahead and start up the game. I installed the broom files as well, so we're going to make sure that the broom works and the sword works. So if we go into our game, you're going to go in the scarves section, and the sword is going to replace the handcrafted necklace. So this is what the sword looks like on. I think it's really cool. The detailing is very pretty, and I really love the overall look of this sword. Here is a front angle as well. And then here is a closer shot so you can see a little bit more of the detailing on this sword. I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like during gameplay, so while movement, and it looks really natural. The sword looks like it belongs in the game. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys decide to go download this sword. So moving on to the broom, it replaces the U Weaver broom. So we're gonna click on that and there it is. So I'm gonna get on the broom and we're gonna see how this bad boy works. Oh, interesting. I didn't know it had all these little spiral things around the back. That's pretty cool. So this is what this broom looks like. The spirals are a little distracting for me, but I think overall this broom is really cool and they did a beautiful job with the design of this broom as well. So that's going to be it for today. I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any further questions, I do have an Instagram. I will link that down below. So if you guys need to message me for any additional help, feel free to reach out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.